Now in the first part of this question then, we're given that D is distributed normally with a mean of 30 and a standard deviation of 8. And so what they've got here is the variance, 8 squared or 64. And what we've got to do is work out the probability that D is greater than 20. Now what I'd always encourage you to do in any normal distribution question is to draw a sketch of your distribution. So you can see I've done that here with a mean of 30. And directly underneath this, I would sketch the standardized normal curve. It's got a mean of zero, remember. And what this tells us is the number of standard deviations that any observed value is going to be away from the mean. Now, if you're unsure about normal distributions, I've got plenty of tutorials on this on my website. So to a certain extent, I'm assuming that you're familiar with working with normal distributions. But I will talk you through this. So to work out, first of all, the probability D is greater than 20, let's put 20 somewhere on this distribution. Let's say it's over here, say, OK? So there's my observed value, which in this case is little d, little d being 20. And we want to work out the probability then of being more than 20, so that's represented by that area to the right of 20. Now, when you've got something like this, I would always say that you project down from your observed value to your standardized normal curve. So, in other words, if I take my observed value of 20 and project it down onto the standardized curve, then we've got this value here, which I'm going to call, say, Z1. Now, when it comes to working out what Z1 is, we use this transformation formula that Z1 equals the observed value. Often it's called X, but we're not dealing with X here. It's D in this case. So it's going to be the observed value D minus the mean, which is 30, all over the standard deviation, which in this case is 8. And if you work this out, what you get is minus 1.25. What this is saying is that this value here of 20 is minus one and a quarter standard deviations below the mean, okay, of 30. So what we want then is this area to the right. Let's just mark this in again, this area to the right of our Z1 value. Now, we can put this up here that the probability of being greater than 20 is exactly the same as the probability that Z is greater than the minus 1.25. Now to work this out we need tables but the tables unfortunately are tables which generally, unless you've got a different set of tables, and that can happen, is that when you've got your standardized normal distribution with a mean of zero there, and you've got your curve coming up something like this, the tables tend to work out values when z is to the right of zero, and they give you this area to the left. They give you the probability of z being less than a particular value of z. So this is no good to us if we've got Z1 over this side. So what we do is we change this around, okay? The one, the one that we've got, let's just mark it down here, okay? The one that we've got is a Z1 value over here. Z1 is minus 1.25. That's zero there. Now, this area that we want is identical to this area up here, providing we make our Z1 value 1.25. We just mirror this value, because of the symmetry, across to the right-hand side. So if we take this value here as 1.25, we can say this is the same as the probability that Z is less than 1.25. Okay, 
Now, we'll be able to look up in tables. And when you look up in your tables, your table should have a column for Z and a column that says probability that Z is less than Z. It works off of this diagram. And what you're looking for is 1.25, where this value here is 1.25. So if you look down your Z column, look for 1.25, you'll see that there's a number to the right of it, and it will be 0 0.8944. Be other numbers as well. But the one that you're interested in is this value here. It tells us that that shaded area here is 0.8944, which is exactly the same as the area here. All right, and here. So there's your answer, 0.8944. And I hope that's given you some idea then how to go about that problem.